Welcome to part three of my tutorials for the Windows Live Photo Gallery. I realize I'm jumping around a lot. I haven't planned these um, videos out very well. Um, some of it is in that I'm just now today learning a lot more about this program actually while I'm recording. And so uh, let's go forth and learn together a little bit more. In the last one we were reviewing about this author area and I want to share with you a little bit more about that. I'm going to click on Amanda Rockwell's name. I have um, my kits all organized by designer name and so these are the folders I have on uh, my EHD. And so I've selected now all of her kits. I can click out here. Now we remember the control key is our friend in the photo uh, gallery and I can click on my control key and select as many as these as I want or as you saw in the first video I can just hit control A and it is now selected every one of uh, these items in every one of these folders over here. Now I'm going to click right here and just type in Amanda Rockwell and immediately every one of her files on my computer have been added with her name as the author. Now I'm going to go back up here and select the main folder and then go up to the search to show you how this works and I can type in Amanda Rockwell and immediately it comes up with everything that I have marked as authored by her. So that is pretty cool. I even did it that uh, first test with this uh, Sonic and I gave it a test person tag. And so um, we go up here to all and put in test person and it's going to come up with one file. And so that is great. Um, but the only way I found so far to search for the information area is through here. So you can't um, do multiple things through there very easily. There may be more ways. I may come up with more tutorials later. But let me show you how you can search for multiple things in the tags. So remember we have some ribbons in here. And I've also got some colors. So I've clicked on everything and it comes up with every uh, ribbon. But that control key is our best friend so I'm going to hold down the control key and click on pink and now if I'm going to scroll down so you can see it has a category with just every ribbon that I have tagged it has the color pink everything I've tagged pink but the very top one is all tags I've selected and so in this area I have every pink ribbon um, so that is one way that you can search for more categories. That is one reason why you might want to go ahead and add a new descriptive tag um, with the designers in them and go ahead and tag the designers. That way if you're looking for a pink ribbon from Amanda Rockwell um, or whoever, uh, you can also um, do uh, multiple searches that way um, to be able to uh, grab certain things from certain designers. And um, uh, this, though, remember, is the thing. If the designers find out, they can start doing this and be able to get people to uh, see their tags showing up over there in their category things. Um, it's going to be a little different. They might just tag it Amanda Rockwell and they might not tag it, tag it designers Amanda Rockwell. And so when you import um, or look for those things that the designers have tagged, um, you may have to reorganize uh, your tree all the time. And I wish there was some way to make some standardized, um, similar to what I have here, uh, for all of the designers to follow so that um, things don't get really funky and out of hand. You can tag things in um, the organizer or bridge and um, 
then when people pull them into the photo gallery it will still find those same tags these tags here that I've made in in this photo gallery the you can actually get them to be brought up into the organizer also and so um, it's just a great uh, great thing to um, begin doing a uh, few more things um, I want to show you uh, here is um, a filter and what I plan on doing is to go into my images I have ones here to be scrapped and I have a folder here of um, my friends gathering and so I'm going to go through here and find the photos that I think are the ones I want to include in my layouts um, as my four more uh, favorite photos and I might click on this one and I'm going to hold down my control key and let's say I want this one um, and this one I'm going to come over here to this information and I'm going to assign them uh, five stars so that when I get ready to um, scrap this particular event I can just click on the stars and immediately find the um, photos that I want to put on my page and I'm going to move this over a little bit now now that I have my photos chosen I can simply just drag them over to Photoshop elements and they're going to immediately open up and so uh, you can also get them to open up um, let's uh, clear the filter and just pick this one of me one of my friends took a picture of me taking pictures of them and um, in the uh, well where did it go oh it's because I let's make this bigger over here in the extras it says open with and I can choose what program I want it to open up with and it will also open it up that way here it comes and there it is um, so you can also um, open them up that way uh, and uh, open them right into the program that you want to have them opened up so you can really use this with uh, your um, digital scrapbooking to organize what photos and to open them up directly into your um, program of course you can also uh, do the same with your digital scrapbooking elements if you want to tag them uh, by ratings to help you find um, the those elements that you like a lot more than than other elements um, we all know we have those things on our computer that uh, we probably should be, de be deleting because we've never used and so I want to show you something else too um, let's go back and uh, look at this blue and I had shared with you I'm such a right-click person I had shared with you one way of getting rid of the tags being right-clicking but look you don't even need to right-click I realize that right here is an X and if I just click on that X it's going to remove the tag from everything that I have uh, selected and so um, that's another uh, little um, thing I might have been a little misleading on you with my right-click uh, happiness that I <laughs> tend to get into um, because you can always find everything by uh, right-clicking and so um, I'm gonna close this uh, for now and uh, maybe in some of the other um, uh, tutorials I will cover things like um, this uh, you can publish things right up to uh, Flickr and Facebook and YouTube um, you can uh, fix the photos uh, you can uh, batch rename you can do a uh, batch resize I mean and uh, you can make a screen saver and a slideshow and um, some other things and we'll uh, cover each one of those individually but I wanted to get the tagging down um, and so I hope you've learned a lot from these tutorials and uh, another day I'll cover some more uh, in this and if you have any questions certainly do ask